Welcome to this Solid Mastermind top tip for Solid Edge. Before we start, remember you can access many more of these great videos by registering for a free Top Tips membership over at solidmastermind.com. In this session, we'll look at one of the ways we can reuse geometry within a traditional history-based solid edge part or sheet metal model. There can be times when we have the need to construct certain features that are the same or similar to something we've done before on another model. Solid Edge has the ability to use copy and paste in order to make this task as easy as possible. Here we have a cutout in a sheet metal part which we want to create in another component. We'll select the cutout and then hit the copy command. Then we'll change to our new part and then hit paste. The profile for the cutout will then appear attached to the cursor. We need to define a reference plane for this profile. As we move over valid faces, the profile will snap to them. We can also make use of the reference plane orientation keys like N and B to control the orientation of the profile. Once we have it in the right place, we can hit the left mouse button to place it. We now have an independent feature that can be edited in its own right. Now we'll look at another example. This time we have a part model with a cutout, some rounds and some holes. If we edit the cutout, we can see it is dimensioned to the corner of the base part. We wish to copy all these features into another part, so we'll select them in the Pathfinder and hit Copy. Then we'll change to the other part. Now when we hit paste, we get another dialog appear, showing us what features will be placed and what is required at each stage. We can see that the profile plane for the cutout is required. Then the dimensions for its position are optional. Then the round is dependent. And then the plane for the holes is required, and so on. We'll start by selecting the plane for the cutout. Again, N and B can be used for the orientation. Next, we can optionally identify the edges we want the two dimensions attached to. Then we can select the bottom of the cutout as the plane for the holes. And we're done. Looking in the Pathfinder, we can see that all the features have been placed in a group. If you liked this video, please comment on it using the space below. And remember, to access many more of these great Solid Edge videos, please register for a free Top Tips membership over at solidmastermind.com.